So to the second semi-final this morning. And it's going to be an interesting one between uh, two Americans, a Brazilian and an El Salvadorian. And well, just listen to the popularity of that man. Jorge Jimenez. And here is the Brazilian, Robert Val dos Santos. Jorge Jimenez was uh, third last year, of course, in uh, Mexico. Not quite a home tie for him. Now, Roberto Val dos Santos of Brazil has to up his game. He lost to all three other finalists this year, but he was the only one to earn a perfect 120 this season in the uh, World Cup qualifying rounds. So it's the Brazilian to shoot first. On target two, just nine seconds left. Yeah. And it's uh, worth the wait, a 10. Oh dear, Jorge Jimenez with a very poor start in the red, eight. One point advantage then, a uh, two point advantage rather, to Dos Santos. Yeah. Another 10, a little punch of the fist back towards his coach. Jimenez, in more than a spot of bother from that man. There's the uh, pulley system you can see on these compound bows. That's better, 10 points. Just, uh, well I say just two points behind after two hours is not a good situation to be in. Uh, one of the first helicopters of the day flies overhead. I'm sure it didn't affect his concentration too much, but it's not a good arrow. And if uh, Jimenez can get himself a perfect 10. Oh no, just outside, to the left. So first three arrows. And it is the Brazilian who has the advantage over his Central American neighbor. Jimenez, who is uh, just recently 30, in fact, from San Salvador, in El Salvador. His, hunt, his uh, hobbies listed as hunting, and as we said before, the uh, compound bow, one of those uh, bows that you would use if you were hunting with a bow and arrow. Started archery in uh, 1996, did Jimenez. And it took just a year to get into the national team. So Jimenez in deficit after three arrows from seven to 29. And he gets the 10, that's what he needs if he's gonna claw his way back into this match. With three quarters of the match to go. Dos Santos yeah. with a 10. He just needs to keep hitting that part of the uh, target and he'll be happy. Yeah. It's just a 10 for Jimenez. Up to 46 points. Now Dos Santos. It's uh, his to lose, really. Oh, just dropping down. Now the scoreboard is showing 48-46, but we feel it's 47-48. to 48. So Jimenez with a chance. Yeah, with another 10. Just to reel in Dos Santos. Dos Santos needs a good arrow here. And that is a good arrow. And that keeps his nose ahead as we reach the halfway point, at least a point ahead.
Oh, there'll be some uh, traffic on the radios here as they go and have a check. The uh, two scoring judges up at the uh, targets as uh, Jimenez just uh, watches, takes his uh, arrow back. Yep, and after the judges have gone up and had a good look, the uh, communication back is, yes, it was three tens in that uh, round of three arrows. So, 10-10-10 ten, ten, ten for Jimenez, up to 57. Dos Santos, one ahead on 58. So it'll be Jimenez to shoot first as we uh, enter the second half of this match. Quick fire, really, up to a lot of... Uh, Events. Another 10 for him. Dos Santos needs 10 to keep his point advantage. Another 10. So he's still a point ahead. Kevin is taking his time here. And he gets a 10. We'll only let go when he's absolutely sure he's ready. And uh, we are watching the pinnacle of archers here, the world's best. And I think you'll agree it shows. Well, Dos Santos with a missed shot there, really. 77 points apiece. And Jimenez, after a terrible first start, a uh, first arrow with a... Eight, he's clawed it back. Two tens. Ten, ten, uh, and another ten. Three tens in this leg. Can't ask any more of uh, the El Salvadorian, who is something of a legend in arching, archery circles. Now Dos Santos. It's another nine. And it's now Jimenez, who is one point ahead. So Santos will be disappointed. There was a mobile phone that went off just as he let go there. Whether that made a difference, hard to say. But that's the one thing you don't want. It's not a discipline where you want complete silence, but the uh, unexpected sounds, just as you let go of your arrow, is one thing you don't want. Anyway, 86 now for Dos Santos, who started off with two points in the lead. Jimenez, after a dreadful start, has pulled it back. See how far it is. 70 meters in the World Cup they have to shoot. Some competitions, of course, you shoot over different distances, but here it's, and for the World Cup, in all competitions in the World Cup, it's 70 meters. Dos Santos with a nine. Now, if Jimenez can get a 10 here, there's some clear water between him and his opponents. Nine. He can, it's nine. Still just a one point advantage. Clock already counting down for Dos Santos, known as Tico. That's his nickname. Ten. And that's a great shot, great arrow. That will be a X10, as they say, within the inner circle of the 10. And another 10 back on track for Jimenez. Last arrow. He'll need a 10 here to put Jimenez under some pressure. Ten he has. So a 10 needed here for Jimenez to go through without the need for a tie break. It is a nine. It's a nine. <laughs> And once again, we go to a tie break. Well, we haven't had one match that hasn't gone to a tie break. The music will pump. The judges will check. Oh, this match is yo-yoed. First of all, Jimenez with a terrible shot to open. That put uh, Dos Santos ahead all the way through to the last quarter. It is a tie. You can see, uh, that's George, the uh, stadium announcer. A man who uh, has been doing this, he tells me, for 15 years. So he 
also works in the field of archery as a profession. Our judge, by the way, is uh, Sergio Font. You see him there, just uh, stepping out of the way. He's uh, a Cuban, so Spanish and Portuguese being spoken up at this end of uh, the target. Tie break. Remember, sudden death, maximum of three arrows in the tie break. Dos Santos first to try and hold his nerve. It's a 10. Pressure now on Jimenez to stay in this match. He needs a 10. A 10 just on the line, but it still is a 10. If it's on the line, it's the highest score that counts. Yeah, the uh, officials, the target judges uh, indicate it's a tie, arms outstretched. And the radio behind me also confirming that, two 10s. Not a cloud in the sky. Having said that, there hasn't been a cloud in the sky in Dubai for oh, about three weeks. Maybe winter, but it's still warm and a very pleasant atmosphere for this tie break. Not so pleasant, I imagine, if you're the man next to shoot. Dos Santos it is, with Jimenez watching. It's a 10, just about squeaking in there. Jimenez, the clock's already counting down. Can he stay in this match? Needs a 10. Just about. Well, we go to a third tie break. A third arrow for the first time in these World Cup finals. That means that uh, if, if the score is the same, if they both score 10s, then we start measuring to the center of the target. So whatever happens, these arrows will decide who goes through to the gold medal match? Who goes through to the bronze medal match? So, Dos Santos will be the man to step up first. Deep breaths from both these men. They need just to calm themselves down. Just a little bit of uh, pre-match rituals from Jimenez. Dos Santos needs a 10. Needs a very, very good 10 as well. Oh. It's a yeah, it's a poor nine. It's a long way out as well. And you imagine that Jimenez should be able to win this match now. Can he cope with the pressure? Yes, he can. It's a 10. He wins by a point. No need to measure that one. And the 30-year-old goes straight through to the final. The man who came first in Dover, first in Olsan, second in Varese. He has the form. He was third last year. He's going to be at least one better this time. And uh, it's Dos Santos who goes through to the bronze medal playoff. Time for uh, Jimenez to take the plaudits. And for Dos Santos, well, away from Dos Santos. Time to go away and lick his wounds and prepare for the bronze medal match.